Hello guys, this is 6C and this morning more news of Coast to 4 has come out but first and foremost if you guys haven't seen the last video of uh, news information about Coast to 4 the link is going to be in the doobly doo aka description below it's going to be the first one so you guys can catch up on the news the news that came out uh, were from the Fa Famitsu magazine uh, I'm going to show you guys screenshots so you guys can see because last time I didn't in the last part I didn't I didn't show the magazine you guys can see how it is it's all Japanese uh, there's no new pictures just you know the pictures that I showed you before so there you go uh, this is how the magazine pretty much look at you guys can see condo there in the bottom so yeah let's get on with this let's see the new information that has come out so it says here the Lenyo Hero Chosen Kosyo 4 The End of Saga is an important title that will serve as a stopping point to the Chosen Kosyo Saga that is part of the Sen Saga that started in 2004. So what I'm saying in here is that they're gonna show, I guess since the beginning, <laughs> since since Chosen in the Sky, they, they had, uh, I guess they had this little thing where they're gonna connect something from that game. Like, I guess, I wanna say that they had the story already, or mostly al almost done. This is... This is um you know this is I guess this is finally getting at the end of it showing everything that they wanted to show so let's keep it on let's see at the next point he says here therefore the subtitle of the end of saga was given the title logo is an image that reflects elements from the entire chose show series as well so you guys wanna let me show you guys the screenshot of the logo here as you guys see I'm gonna put a big so you guys can see you guys see behind the letters what it says for uh, this is spear and then the, you can see how the different colors there is on the spear there's orange red blue and purple on the bottom i guess the color represent the different um kiseki games that has come out so i can i guess that's a a little a little easter egg there and you guys can see inside the spear you can see the greek one and the greek one is basically when you fuse the earth treasure and the fire treasure so all right let's carry on not too much there the decision to end here was around around the time or like you know he will chose in the sky so like I said they probably had this plan out since like chosen the sky basically since before chosen the sky was released they probably had the story down to this point so it's kind of it's kind of crazy how how far away they were planning they were they planned this for over 10 years basically so all right let's move on it says here, this is the first time the company has an announced a new title as a last title, so far confused the pressure. One thing you wonder about is at one point in the story, in the, in the, the story start, but another one kind of makes you think about is Vivian Swasher is the protagonist in, in the first place. So I have a feeling that this game is going to be pretty, pretty dark for Rin, as in Rin is not going to have a happy ending. I don't know how I feel about this since I personally do not like Rin so much as a, as a, as a main character. I actually kind of, I'm actually kind of happy that Rin is not going to be the main, the main focus on this game. According to, according to all this news that's come out with all these new characters, uh, Rin is not going to be the major focus of the game. We're going to see, we're going to see more of uh, different characters and and yeah, um, I, I guess what Kondo said this probably because it's, and Rin is not gonna have a happy ending. So Rin has been having a lot of misfortune in his life. I guess you could say Rin, Rin did not have a good life. So let's see what happens. I think Kondo, what Kondo said this time is saying that the story is probably gonna take another dark turn, a pretty bad one, and probably for Rin. So I think the bigger reason why Kondo said this was because he wants to have, I guess the main protagonist for every Kiseki game to fight a specific boss or something that could be but I don't know um this is also speculations I am hoping though that we get to play as Crow because Crow is my favorite male my favorite character in Cold Seal to be honest he he is the man I do like Crow as a character a lot let's keep it on he says here Lloyd Bannons and the others are heading to the ending that was talked about in the last in the last one, your hero Ano Ano Kiseki. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't played Ano Kiseki. I don't know much about Ano Kiseki, um, so I cannot give any details about this. Um, I'm waiting for um, what's the? Well, there's a group that's translated the game. Uh, it's translating Zero Kiseki and Ano Kiseki. So I'm gonna wait until they done and then I'll play. So it's gonna be in English. Once they do release, I will plan to make a video so all of you guys know. 
that is coming out. So let's skip it forward. It says here, the land your hero chose across your four will have more playable characters than the previous title and the most there's ever been. If you guys did not keep a count on Cosio uh, 3, there was about 25 characters that you can play as in, in Cosio 3. It was all, for, all, all, all class 7, the new class 7, uh, the teachers, it was crazy, the cast was big. So there's gonna be more than 25 characters on Cosio 4. So it is the biggest, this is the biggest Kiseki game that they have ever done, basically. With over 25 characters guys that's a lot of that's a lot of characters man so uh just by looking at the at the old pictures that we saw we saw crow so i'm pretty sure we're gonna be able to play as crow for sure we're gonna we saw uh, renette which is the uh, ex enforcer um the girl with the purple hair so she we're probably gonna be able to play as her as well we saw uh, Duvalai, the one for from the Star Soul Reader. I believe she also is gonna be playable since in the picture you guys see here, she doesn't have the uniform of the Soul Reader. You know the the the, the armor uniform. She using like civilian clothes, so she could probably also also be um a, a playable character. We got we I don't know, but this is just a speculation right there. But we know for sure that Loy and Ellie are gonna be playable because there are. They were playable in Cosio 2, so I'm pretty sure they're going to be playable on Cosio 4. Now it says here it'd be an RPG with an exceptional volume for start to finish. So start to end. So it's basically saying it's gonna be it's gonna be a Kiseki game. It's gonna go with the Kiseki game formula with the RPG, so that is to be expected. I think this is the, a big one right here that I already want to talk about. It says here. Falco plans to brush out more complete battle systems that inherit elements from the previous title in Break Order and Break. Uh, so let me talk. Let me touch on this real quick. If you guys um, if you guys know the new system, the Break or the Break Bar and the Break Orders. The uh, Kosio Three has the best gameplay system of all Kiseki games so far, which is hot, which is obvious since it's the sequel. It's, it's the oldest. It's the newest game of all the Kiseki games so far. I do feel like they need to tweak the. There's a f couple of things they need to tweak. Can you guys see uh, my fight against uh, Laura's uh, against Laura and uh, uh, Laura's dad and Aurelia? That fight demonstrates how the battle system really works. How everything the game is it, the game is really bad. That's what I'm trying to say. But there's a couple of things they need to touch on to make it to finally finalize the game. Fin Alright, this is what I believe Kondo has to do to fix the, to finally perfect the break and break order system. Nerf crumbers. You guys know crumbers, the the art that makes you attack twice. You gotta nerf that. Either make it super costly, or or something. Because at the moment, I do feel like that the art is 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 OP with a uh, with, with the break order of Muse, where you can use pretty much art with like. With like 20 20 AP, so nerf crumbers. That's one thing you need to do, uh, Kondo, to fix the, the 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 gameplay. And you need to make it where you cannot break the enemies um, easy. At the uh, uh, at the beginning of the game, you can you, you can definitely uh, feel the the balance. But as you progress, uh, this this options pretty much break the game. Basically, you can just cheese the game. So all they need to do is just fix this little stuff right there that I just mentioned. Uh. Slow down a little bit the delay too. The delay is kind of you can kind of abuse it, but not that much in this game. But you can definitely you know, abuse it. So just fix that condo, and the gameplay will be perfected. You got. I'm pretty sure in Call of Duty 4 they're gonna perfect the gameplay for sure. So I trust in condo since they they did fix a lot of broken power since since from Call of Duty 2 to this game, which for basically the delay stuff. So I do. I hope they're gonna finalize and com and, and complete the and. You know and, and get the perfect gameplay balance basically to have the perfect formula and perfect balance game that's what i'm trying to say so i'm gonna leave the the fight in the in the in the ww so you guys can see uh i think that fight definitely demonstrate the the high the good the good stuff about the new system so you guys want to see it on the in the ww and then it says here Character appearing from past side of focus looking looking to show off each and every and every character and their focus on developing it to tell his story after wear a single RPG title on his own. So what uh, Kondo is saying here that 
they want to show pretty much the point of view for everybody they want to show their point of view of the bracers they want to show their point of view of the SSS force class 7 the church and maybe the enforcers as well so I'm pretty sure the ending is not gonna be a pretty ending. I'm pretty Kondo is gonna it's gonna jack the ending up. I'm pretty sure it's gonna jack it up. So he wants to like have basically the protagonist, I guess, from first uh for Trolls in the Sky, her, their point of view, uh the, the one for Sonono Kiseki, which is Loy, and basically, you know, show everybody points of view of how they're gonna get on the basically on the on the on the on the bus fight or whatever is gonna happen in the end. So it's gonna be crazy how this is gonna be playing out. Oh, I gotta be honest. I, this is gonna be probably the craziest game, the craziest Kiseki game we have ever played. So there you go. And last but not least, development is currently 40 45 completed. Uh, development as in Coast Eagle 4 is 45%. So I wanna say by next year, by by um uh, by March, I'm pretty sure they're gonna be done. And then after that, this is gonna start. They're gonna polish it probably for two months. And then they're gonna start working on the next Kiseki game in the next year Yonka Ball. Alright guys, that's all the news I have for today. I hope you all you guys enjoyed your Christmas this year. Um I definitely did. If you guys bought any consoles, uh like a Nintendo Switch, let me know and what games you guys got for Christmas. I will uh leave me in the comment section below what you guys got for Christmas this year. Uh what games you guys got uh, I'm curious and we can discuss. Uh, do you guys got a P uh, PlayStation 4? Because you know, Cosio uh, 3 is going to come out eventually in English? Let me know in the comment section. I would like to know. And yeah, guys. Uh, if you guys learned something new, give it, give the video a like. I do appreciate it. If you are looking forward for more news like this, subscribe to the channel. And yeah, guys. The comments are fantastic. Thank you so much for watching. Gotcha.